The Battle of Yultong, also known as the Battle of Milo Dong, Battle of Yuldong, or Battle of Yuldong Ri, was a battle of the Korean War. It was fought between elements of the Chinese People's Volunteer Army 34th Division and the Filipino 10th Battalion Combat Team, north of Yongchun during April 22 to 23, 1951. The battle was part of the Chinese Spring Offensive. Chapter 1 Background the Philippine 10th BCT was attached to the U.S. 3rd Infantry Division at the time of the offensive. Initially composed of 1,367 troops, the battalion was reduced to 900 men due to previous casualties and other losses. To prepare for the incoming Chinese offensive, the U.S. 65th Infantry Regiment deployed its 3rd and 2nd battalions, facing west and northwest, respectively, along the Injin River while the attached Philippine 10th BCT held the regiment's right flank near Route 33. The Turkish Brigade, was just east of the Filipino unit. Opposite the United Nations Command forces in the area were the PVA's three army group, composed of the 12th, 15th, and 60th armies. The overall commander of the Chinese PVA forces, Peng Dawai, planned to have the 12th and 15th Army attack and encircle the Turkish Brigade and the U.S. 3rd Infantry Division, respectively. Near the Injin River, the 15th Army had a narrow zone between the river and Route 33 projecting through the area held by the 65th Regiment. Along Route 33 and east of it, the 12th Army and 60th Army were to attack through ground held by the Philippine 10th BCT on the right flank of the 3rd Division and through the Pogisan ridges occupied by the Turkish Brigade and 24th Infantry Division. Chapter 2 – The Battle The assault began at 20 hundred hours on the 22nd of April, when the enemy hit the Turkish Brigade with an artillery barrage. Shortly after midnight, an artillery and mortar barrage followed by intense small arms and machine gun fire struck the entire 3rd Division line. While the Turks were engaged in fierce battle, the 10th BCT, deployed in the Yultong area on the left of the Turks, from 2300 hours was assaulted in waves by the Chinese and fought a series of close combat engagements within its positions. Communication with the 65th Regiment was disconnected by enemy artillery and some friendly fire support but was restored at 030. Around midnight, the Turks were ordered to withdraw to a position on the line Kansas south of the Hantan River. The 65th Regiment's 2nd Battalion was forced to fall back several hundred yards to regroup due to the intensity of the Chinese attack. At 1 o'clock of the 23rd of April, the 29th and 44th Divisions of the Chinese 15th Army surrounded the 65th Regiment, cutting off its retreat. The battle forced the 10th BCT's drivers, typists, clerks, medics, cooks, and even the chaplain to join the active combatants. Each company was dispersed and fought in confusion without contact between the units. The battalion's Baker Company, commanded by Lt. Jose Artiaga Jr., was defending the strategic Yaltong Hill when Chinese forces overran their position, the left platoon of B Company was pushed back from their position at 3 o'clock and, after four hours of furious combat, the enemy infiltrated as deeply as Charlie Company position in the reserve area. The company suffered heavy casualties, including Lieutenant Artiaga. The battalion commander, Colonel Dionisio S. Ojeda, received orders to withdraw. All units complied except the Tank Company. Tank Company Commander Captain Conrado Yap led a counter-attack towards the hill to rescue any survivors and recover the dead men of B Company. Although Captain Yap lost his life in the counter-attack, Tank Company succeeded in their objective and recovered a squad of survivors. The 10th BCT held their positions until early morning, and covered the retreat of the U.S. 3rd Division. At first light, the Chinese offensive gradually declined, and the battalion launched a counter-attack to restore the lost area of B Company. C Company supported by two M24 Chaffee light tanks of Recon Company and an allied artillery unit led the counter-attack. At 9 o'clock on 23 April, General James Van Fleet, commander of the U.S. 8th Army, 
ordered a withdrawal to line Kansas after concluding that many units in 1 and 9 Corps were in danger of being enveloped by the Chinese forces. At 12.15, the 10th BCT finally received orders from General Robert Soule to fall back to line Kansas, withdrawing to a position in Onhung Ri. Chapter 3, Aftermath For their actions, Captain Conrado de Yap was posthumously awarded the Philippine Medal of Valor and the U.S. Distinguished Service Cross, while Lieutenant Jose Artiaga Jr. was posthumously awarded the Philippine Distinguished Conduct Star. On July 27, 2018, Captain Yap was awarded the First Class Teguk Cordon of the Order of Military Merit on the 65th anniversary of the Korean Armistice Agreement. The 10th Battalion Combat Team reported 12 killed, 38 wounded, and 6 missing in action. Chinese losses were reported to be more than 500 killed and 2 captured. On 24 April 1951, the 10th BCT was attached to the British 29th Brigade Group as a reserve force and would later participate in the attempted rescue of the Gloucestershire Regiment during the Battle of the Imjin River. On the 22nd of April 1966, the 15th anniversary of the Chinese Spring Offensive, a monument was erected to commemorate the battle in Yeonchun, South Korea.